Today at the Road Hard Roadhouse, we're going to talk about Pour 15. Pour 15 is a high performance uh, coating designed for application directly on prepped rust or on seasoned metal surfaces and will stop rust permanently. Pour 15 is non porous and seals and protects surfaces from water, chemicals, and uh, salt and other corrosive materials. You can also use Pour 15 as a preventive uh, coating on new metal and on non rusted surfaces. About 15 years ago, I had a cheater pipe that I put pour 15 on. What I did with it is uh, put it on the last six inches of the bar. I used the bar all the time, so it was always being uh, underneath the car, working on the car. Um, after about, and when I didn't, when I stored it on the side of my house, where it was always in the hot sun, and uh, if it did rain, it was in about four inches of water. Um, after about six years, I did a write-up on it, and what I had found was that there wasn't any rust creep that went underneath the, uh, underneath the Pour 15, and there wasn't any, uh, besides fading, there was no indications of any, uh, you know, that it was wearing off or any of that type of stuff. Now, as far as the Pour 15, the Pour 15 is non-RV protectant, so if you're going to put Pour 15 on something, uh, make sure that the sun isn't going to touch it. If the sun's going to hit it, you need to put a protectant that's going to, you know, a clear coat of some sort that's going to be RV protected. That's going to be I've used the regular Pour 15 Black Glossy on almost it, everything auto-related that I own at one time or another. Jeep tubs, new floor pans, old floor pans. New trunk floors, old trunk floors, firewalls, uh, fender wells, inside doors. I would not uh, keep shelling out the money if it didn't work. As you can see here, I'm going to be doing the whole frame. I'm going to take. I'm going to use a wire wheel on it. Try to bust up. Uh, try to get most of it off. Then I'm going to prep it with the Pour 15 uh, prep, and then I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, the black glossy uh, Pour 15 on it, and. Uh, I'm going to clean all this up. I'll get a new pan hard bar there. Hoshkiss stuff is going to be used on my car. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and use the Pour 15 on the, the trunk floors here that are brand new. Um, then I'll be using it on the uh, gas tank as well, except for I'll probably be using the gray Pour 15 on it. What I really like about Pour 15 is it's got a self-leveling agent in it. If you want to put it on with a brush, it won't look like you put it on with a brush. Also, if your project is small, use the pint cans. Uh, buy the pint cans. You can get them for almost the same price uh, where it adds up to a quart, uh, but in just a little pint cans. And what that does for you is that you can use uh, the cans longer. And it's, I'm, I haven't had really good luck with uh, having pour 15 uh, for very long in a can after I'm done. So... Uh, you want to make sure that since this stuff isn't cheap, that uh, your pour 15 goes as far as it can. Negatives about pour 15, if it drips on you, you're going to wear it. You're going to wear it till it wears out. Uh, face, hands, neck, anywhere it lands, it's going to stay. I wanted to show you what uh, pour 15 does when it's been out in the sunlight for a little bit. It... Uh, it's not RV protectant and uh, it fades. So uh, just so you know, uh, you, you need to put a uh, protectant on top of your 415.